In one of my previous video, I have discussed that how can we determine the self weight of beam in FPS units. After watching that video, many viewers have asked that do the same topic in MKS system of units. So in this particular video, we are going to learn that how we can determine the self weight of beam using MKS system of units. So watch the video full and do not forget to like the video. Let's start today's topic. Today we are going to learn that how to determine the self weight of beam in MKS system. Self weight of beam can be determined by using a simple formula that is unit weight of concrete multiplied by volume of the beam. The unit weight of concrete in MKS system is 2500 kilogram per meter cube and the volume of the beam can be determined by multiplying its dimension that is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. In this side you can see a simple beam whose length, breadth and height are represented by L, H and B respectively. Now to understand this properly let's do a practical problem. Here you can see that a simple beam is given whose length is 6 meter the height of the beam is 45 millimeter and the width of the beam is 30 millimeter. Now to make the unit consistent, change height and breadth of the beam from millimeter to meter by dividing the height and breadth by 100. So we will get height of the beam is 0.45 meter and breadth of the beam is 0 0.30 meter. Now by putting the values in the previous formula that is self weight of beam is equal to unit weight of concrete multiplied by volume of the beam. We know that unit weight of reinforcement concrete is 2500 kilogram per meter cube and the volume of the beam can be determined by multiplying length, weight and height. So by putting values in this equation we will get 2500 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 0.45 meter multiplied by 0 0.30 meter. After calculation we will get 2025 kilogram. To change this value into tons divide it by 1000 because we know that 1 ton is equal to 1000 kilograms. So we will get 2.025 tons. Now this is the concentrated load of the beam and by using this simple formula we have determined the self weight of the beam. In design of reinforcement concrete and for other design purposes we need the self weight of beam in distributed form or per unit length. So for this purpose so if you want to determine the self weight of beam per unit length so ignore the length of the beam and just multiply the unit weight of concrete by its cross-sectional dimension that is its height and its weight. Self weight of the beam after calculation we will get 337.5 kilogram per meter. Now this is the distributed load of the beam and you can use this value in the design of the beam and for other engineering purposes. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. For more updated videos about civil engineering, please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much.